Hello again, this is Morgan with another episode of Quest for the Cup 9. nine. Anyway, no, I'm nine. sitting here with Lorianne Persinger, world famous poker player <laughs> here on the <laughs> West Coast. Oh yeah. And um, uh, I'll, I'll just tell you how we met uh, briefly. She was writing for a uh, poker magazine called Anti Up and she was um, um, writing uh, columns there. Or, uh, we'll get into that in a minute. And then we met, we watched her play, we became friends. And um, so we're gonna, we're gonna. I know you see her around town, so we're gonna learn a little bit about her. Uh, Lorianne, where are you from? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I am originally from Chicago, Illinois. I am um, 48 years young. I haven't actually lived in Chicago since I left to join the Navy many years ago, which is how Navy. I met the Navy. That is correct. Wow. That is how I met my husband and um, swore I'd never marry a sailor, and we're getting ready to celebrate our 25th anniversary. Oh. I make you tear up. Yeah, I, trust me, I can't believe it either. I Give me a minute. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can't believe it either. So, uh, what, when, did, and when, and where did you get introduced to uh, poker in general? Actually, I got introduced to poker. It's a good thing I've already said my age because if I didn't, this would show my age. I actually got introduced to poker well before the money maker effect. I watched when Phil Helmuth, before he was even known as the poker brat, won the main event. Oh yeah, I 19, remember that on back TV. Back in yeah. 1989, he was younger and thinner on yes. that one. I remember. And there, and hadn't gotten the eagle and everything yeah. else, still unknown. And I used to watch poker like two o'clock in the morning when they used to have a show. I don't know if you ever saw it. Early in the morning, called Poker at the Plaza. Never saw it. It was Never grainy it. production, really dark. That was when Daniel Negrano was not even kid poker. Mm. Lane Flack was on there. Jennifer Harmon, um, the late Chad Brown. So I've been actually watching poker for quite a few years. Wow, mm -hmm. I, she knows she knows her stuff. Yeah. So uh, what part of your life did it transition from just poker watching and maybe family gaming to where you started to play on this level? When did that start? That actually started maybe about a year ago, actually almost two years ago once I started writing for the magazine and I got to meet and interview a lot of the pros. So when you interview people, you hope to kind of pick up a thing or two from them and that's what I've done. So. Yeah, and then I, they were, she, she and her husband are at our poker tournaments quite a bit and they were on a roll, uh, I think about a half a year ago or a year ago. Or? Back in November. To uh, tell us how that yeah. felt. What happened? Tell us about uh, your week. <laughs> That, that mini heater that I went on for about yeah. a month, yes, yeah. that was that was pretty awesome. I'm yeah. not even going to lie, if you play poker, you know what a heater is, and you only hope to ever go on one at least once in yeah. your life, but more even so. In yeah. fact, my husband's still in it. I got knocked out already, but right. Rick is still holding down the yeah. fort. Your husband and general manager Pat <laughs> is still in it over here. And That's right. You got Jenna over here. And mm -hmm. You got Dr. Hope over there. I know. I can't believe Dr. Hope outlasted me. I yeah. and only with only one buy-in. I, I yeah. cannot believe that. He's our record rebuyer. Yeah. Thirteen rebuys. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then um, you come to these River Card events. In your opinion, why is why do we fill up every time? Why do so many people come to these events? Actually, that's easy. One, the tournament structure is outstanding. And also, two, the guarantees, which you meet every time. And I love the guarantees. That's something. And even with the estimates, you're always close. Right. So that is, for us, worth the drive every time. And like I said, the buy-ins are great for what you guarantee. So. Yeah. And, and the level of play also, too, is right. more what we like. The just this overall structure, yeah. like everything about it. Yeah, and perhaps we might have hit a social aspect on a, on a micro-local level. Is Lorianne gets to see how Tim's doing, gets to see how... Rick's doing, or husband, or and it's become very social. I get to see how Jackie's doing. When yeah. your river card Jackie, girls love our, Jackie. Our river card love girl Jackie. plays out there, and it, it's sort of Hollywood lighting mm -hmm. with flickety flash, and everybody gets to say hello to each other, and um, and then uh, we get like I, I won't see Lorianne, but when she shows up these tournaments, we get to say hello. That's so right. it's serious business, but it's actually a whole lot of fun. And if you haven't played one, I recommend that you get out here and you try one yeah. as soon as possible. Oh, there you there you go again, Lori. <laughs> <laughs> Did I make him cry? Morgan, you, you got to quit being so sensitive. Yeah. Yes. got to quit being so sensitive. Well, if you're in the Southern California area or the Las Vegas area and you see Lori Ann and, and her husband Rick, or, uh, come say hello. and um, Please do. Very friendly people and uh, very knowledgeable about poker. And we found out in the Navy and from Chicago, which I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Lori, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for having and, me. And uh, thanks thank for joining you. us today. Thank you for having me, Morgan. And Paul, thank you so much.